Hello happy people Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to show you how to add a custom google map just like this or this one to your Elementor or WordPress website. Let's get started. So the number one thing that you have to know is that there are a couple of ways you can add maps to your WordPress website and uh, by default Elementor actually brings you a google map widget which looks something like this and uh, you can simply add a location and someone can easily spot where your location is on that google map but also there is another way to add a custom google map to your elementor website or wordpress website by simply creating your own map and i've actually created a separate tutorial on how to create a custom google map just like this when you add your own features custom locations with details just like this you can edit everything over you can create new other features, locations, and even create a couple of separate other maps. And all these maps, you will be in position to add separate locations, you know, with details, images on that Google map. And I'm actually going to leave a link up here in the card or in the description box below so that you can go and follow it up and see how you can create a custom map just like this using Google My Maps. Specifically in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can get you already created custom Google map like this one into your Elementor website. The number one thing you have to do is of course you have to go back to your dashboard and we are going to come over here to pages and under pages we are going to open up our contact page. So this is our contact page. I'm opening it up with Elementor. At the moment my contact page is opened up here in the browser but now also I've opened it up again in Elementor editor. What I'm going to do is simply come over here add a new section one column section and i'm going to simply come over here and then grab a map widget which is this over here and i drag it over here to my canvas and boom i'll automatically have a map that looks just like this over here at the top and uh, with this map you can add your location your company name your address over here you can zoom into your location basically to create an impression of your local location exactly and also you can adjust the height of the map depending on what you want or based on a device see something like that you can simply adjust it to what you want when i go back to the desktop i can still adjust to the height that i want and then you can also style it up and say you will give it some CSS filters, maybe uh, on normal, it will be basically without color. And when someone hovers, the CSS filter will say, I'll give it color. Okay, so on normal, no color, on hover, there is color. Something of that sort. Now, the other way you can actually add a Google map is one, like I already said, creating your own map, uh, which is a custom map. And not basically this google map so you simply come over here to google my maps and this page will bring you to a page that looks just like this over here and then you'll be able to create your own maps using google and once you come over here to this page then you're in position to say create a new map and then you can start creating your own custom map in this case, I'm not going to go into that because I've already added a tutorial or I've already created a tutorial for that and I'm linking it down in the description box below. So I'm simply going to select this map over here, company locations. So I open up this map. So once I open up my already created map, what I'm going to do is very simple. I'm going to click here on the share option and I'm going to make sure that this map is accessed publicly on the internet by changing over here and i make sure it is public on the web and uh, anyone can access this map or can view this map without actually signing in and then i say done next thing i'm going to do is simply come over here to the three dots after clicking on the three dots i'm going to first set a default view so the default view is what you're actually seeing at the moment if i zoom in or I zoom out and I come over here and I set default view automatically this is going to be the default view of this map when someone views it on my website 
So I don't want this. I simply want it to be a little bit something like this. When someone clicks over here, they get the details of the place or the location. And also this over here. They can even see another location over here. Location name, image, and a description. The address. So I'm now going to set my default view. Come over here to the three dots. Then I say set view once you set your default view next we're going to come back here to the three dots and we're going to say embed on my site and we are going to get this pop-up this is a pop-up that is going to give us an iframe code that we are in position to embed on our wordpress or elementor website i'll simply copy this code say okay then come back to our elementor website and we are going to add here a new section and i'm going to come over here and i search up for an html widget I'll add it over here. I'll get my HTML widget and then I'll paste my HTML code over there. And boom, now we have our map over there. I'll simply update. And now when I come over here to our contact page, I'm going to reload our contact page. Now you see we have two maps. We have one that is in black. When I hover over that map, it turns colored. Next map we have over here is our company map locations in Uganda and it has all this over here. Someone can actually zoom in into those specific locations. When someone clicks on this location, boom, it will bring a pop-up over here, gives uh, details about that location. When someone clicks on another location over here, boom, brings up the location details over here. And of course, if you want to see all the locations listed over in the map, you can simply click over here, get the company details, and then the office locations, and then also the staff quarters. Basically, you get the different categorizations of the locations in this map. Now, this map is not the same as this. This is by default that you embed from Google. This is basically created by you, but also based on Google. And everything over right here is accurate based on how you list it over there and also on the google maps so in case you ever wanted to add a google map on your elementor website or wordpress website or basically wanted to see how to add a custom map to your website i hope this story brought you value and you can now either use this map over here or basically create your own custom map to use on your elementor or wordpress website Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know down in the comment box below. Otherwise, have a good time and goodbye.